Hello everybody, this is Lori and I am filming today a video response to Jill Norwood's giveaway. Um, it's called Curating for Christmas. Um, I've watched quite a few videos of people um, curating their space for Christmas, whether it be their craft, part of their craft room or, you know, wherever um, they craft at. And my house is very, very small. I live in a very small bungalow, um, and I don't really have a creative space uh, right now. Um, so I just did the corner of my di uh, dining room where um, our dining room table is, and this is like where we eat dinner and do homework, and so it's kind of like a space that's always filled with stuff, my daughter's computer, my computer, my husband's thing, so um, my space, uh, my, uh, the space that I decorated, it's, it's movable, so I can pretty much uh, move um, everything if I need to, like I'll put up my tree this weekend, so everything will probably have to be moved um, a little bit and maybe some things taken down but um, for now I'm going to leave it and hopefully I'll get to craft soon because I haven't had a chance to do that um, so I'm gonna just start um, with the little um, side of my table here um, so the first thing you see is just some little boxes there with some little die cut pieces in there that I cut and nothing is really Christmas shaped it's just you know I use Christmas themed paper um, so um, or I just use paper that was maybe real glittery um, I like to craft in more traditional um, Christmas colors I do like pinks and blues and those other colors as well but um, usually I'm doing more of um, traditional colors but um, this is a punch that I picked up not too long ago and I have some little flowers here and a, a little snowman stamp and um, this is just a little piece of uh, an applique and some dew drops and these are upside down but these are those punches from EK success one is a snowman and one is a bell um, I also have these little containers from the dollar spot at Target, I think, a, few, a while back. They had them available, but I found mine at the thrift store, and so I just picked up um, what they had. They only had two. So one has, like, this is, like, confetti in here, and um, it looks like a little postage stamp. And it's glittery on one side, so they have that one in there in the package, and they have they had the little um, the cardinal, and the same thing. It's glittery on the other side, and then the Santa head, and it's glittery there. And these are some little wooden um, mason jar tags that I picked up the grocery store, and some um, silver bells. And I have some more that I need to put in there, but that's all I have in there for now. And then I also have this other one, and this just has some red um, bows that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I showed these in a haul video that I did not that long ago. And these are little, um, you know, like little miniature ornaments for the little miniature trees, but... I thought they were really cute. I made a pair of earrings out of these, and they turned out really cute. So there's that. And then I have this little doll that I usually put on my tree. She's from Mexico. And there is my bird cage that I got at the thrift store. And inside of it, I just have some... Um, um, trim like that mesh trim and silver and then in the back I have some a couple of snowflake ornaments that I got from Target a few years ago one's a star and the other two are snowflakes it's kind of hard to see because they're inside 
and then the purple and pearl um, pretty um, it's like a wired you know you could use it on wreaths or whatever I got that at Michael's um, so that's that little corner and then the other part I'm using is my Ross CAG cart that I got from um, Ikea and I just have like here some things I want to alter some flowers that I got at the thrift store just a bunch of embellishments like Christmas embellishments and buttons and things that I picked up at Joann's and more ribbon and in here I have some washi tape and some um, little tags that I can um, stamp on or whatever and I have a couple of sprays there in this and I have some frames that I'm going to alter here for some friends and then this is these are the beads in a um, bottle I got these at Hobby Lobby some time ago and I just picked out the colors because there was like six in the package and I just picked out the colors that I would use for Christmas so there's like silver and white and gold and then I have some more ribbon there and this is um, like stickles only it's not stickles it's Viva German glitter and I got this at Hobby Lobby too and here is some glitter from um, what's this from Doodlebug. So it's really fine glitter and some stickles here. And then right here I have just some six by six pads of paper. Um, these I've had for quite some time that I picked up at Michael's. So I thought I'd try to use those, and as well as this I've had for a long time. Um, so yeah, I just have some paper here, and these are from Martha Stewart. And this one I just got. I got this one at TJ Maxx, and it's called Snow Village from Pink Paisley. And I'm not seeing anyone show it, but they're very muted colors. They're not real. You know, of course, there's papers in there that are not um, Christmas themed that probably could be used at any time. But I really liked um, the colors. So, so I got that. I think that's it. Yeah. And so the last thing I have to show you is this. And I picked this um, box up at the thrift store. And I forgot that I had it, and when I was looking for things to use for this video, um, I decided to um, use this. So let me open it up so there's no glare. Here on this side, I just have a couple of stamps. Um, this isn't necessarily Christmas, but... And then I have this little stamp set that I got at Target for a dollar in the dollar section. It's Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. And um, um, I don't have a lot of uh, stamps. I do have a couple of cling sets, but um, I'm just going to use my wooden stamps this year. And I have a couple of snowmen and these little um, clothespins with a pearl on it. I have flowers in here and some other clothespins with... Um, felt pieces attached to them and I picked these up at Michael's like a long time ago and some pom-poms and flowers and more of that confetti a bunch of scraps of ribbon that I want to try and use little pieces of bling a little wreath here mostly poinsettias in here and these are just little crocheted um, flowers uh, more little um, embellishments and things in here, buttons and things like that, little snowflake buttons. Um, I don't think they're really buttons, I think they're just embellishments. Um, as well as in here, some little wooden pieces and another little wreath. 
Um, these little Santas are very, very old. I don't even know where I got them. I can't remember anymore. I've had them that long. Um, these are kind of like um, fabric. And they're just little stickers. And there's um, the ornament. And I think the other one is like a gift package or something. So I got those. And more little things in there and some gold sequins that I got at the thrift store and some little um, gold stars. I, I think I got those at the thrift store too. These little heels I bought at um, Walmart um, a couple years ago, so I thought maybe I'd try to do something with those. And these are little plastic ornaments. I don't know where I got them, but they just look kind of cute in there. So that is um, where I'm keeping all my little embellishments and my paper. And I do have other paper that I'm going to be using and pieces of fabric and, and more ribbon and twine. But I kind of have that stored underneath this. So um, it's kind of back in the corner and out of the way. So I'm not going to show you that because I have my tools under there and things like that. And I have a basket with like stickers. So um, the only other thing that um, I'm going to show you is this. And I think I had seen this on somebody's video not too long ago. Um, maybe Muriel, who is Miss Cooper's Coop here on YouTube. Um, but Michael's had um, a, their deal of the day on this past Monday was... Um, 12 by 12 paper pads were $5, the Christmas ones. So I picked this up, and this is by a company called Craft Smith. And um, it's vellum, kind of like paper, but it's food safe. It's called Holiday Glassine. So it's not really vellum, it's very smooth. So I'm going to use that in my curating for Christmas crafts and a couple other uh, 12 by 12 pads of paper that I've had in my stash. So, But this is my little space, and it's all I can really do. But I've seen so many beautiful ones with Christmas trees, and, and everything just looks so nice. But um, anyway, this is mine, and I'm happy with it for now. So I'd like to thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day. Bye now.